Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick little video on how to install an undammed USB decoder to a Versus City or a Blast City. Um, it literally takes 30 seconds with some special harnesses made. Uh, I could make them. Uh, also, uh, Bling on ArcadeProjects.com. If you ask him, he could probably do it for you. Uh, but I just want to show how quickly you can do it. So you can see in all our Versus Cities we have USBs installed. Got one here, one right there, one there, and then on the other side. These take any, these take any sticks. Hip boxes, pads, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC. Uh, if you want to drill these holes, they just take 24 millimeter holes, the same as the start button, same diameter. Uh, but the goal is to show how easy it is to install this uh, safely. It doesn't mess with the hardware in any way. It takes about 30 seconds if you have two hands. I'm going to try to do it with one. Uh, it's just because I have to hold this camera. Uh, but it will not damage the hardware at all. This is the device. The undamned decoder. Uh, this installation will be a lot easier if you have this 20 pin uh, header. The older versions do not have them, so you want to try to get the ones with these. It makes it a lot easier. If not, then you have to screw into these uh, screw terminals, which are way more, way less reliable. These are the harnesses we will be using. Got one here. It's basically a splitter. It's going to split the controls into two. One going to the uh, the undammed converter and one going to the actual control panel controls and here's the other one this is for the main controls this is for the kick harness buttons and then all and then this is for the undamned to capture all that split signal to that uh, when this is plugged in you'll be able to use your control panel on top of being able to use whatever you plug in at the same time you could actually use them at the exact same time so if you have a ps4 pad but you like to use a stick, but you want to use the buttons on the PS4, you could actually do both at the same time. Uh, this will not ruin anything on the cabinet. I just want you to be very, be very clear on this. This is very safe. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I install it. So here we have, excuse the mess, it's dirty. This is in a public place. Uh, so you have two of these controls. You got this connector right here this goes to all the kick buttons down here which goes to the kick harness on the CPS2 CPS3 whatever you know uh, in this case uh, we're running Naomi and then this one runs you can't tell because it's all hodgepodge up but these will run to the punches and to the Samo harness and then start and all that so all you have to do is literally unplug these two right grab these harnesses plug them in all right here we go plugging them in here and then you plug these back in the controls back in to the appropriate this is gonna to be tough, I'm doing it with one hand. So, yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. Wow, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Male to female. Give me one sec. <laughs> Okay, so I got one. So this is the punch, punches and the controls going. So you can tell it's still going straight in here, right? And then I'm gonna take the kick harness, the kick buttons, and I'm gonna plug it into this harness that I made. As soon as I can get the right one. Sorry guys, it's hard to do. So I'm gonna plug this in. So now I have the kick harness, the kick buttons going back into here, just through this harness. So now these other ones are gonna go 
these other ones that are here that are, have not been used for each one are going to go basically to the undammed converter, which is what this harness is for. It's got two ends, two terminations here. So I'm going to plug one in to the unused right here. Let me do that real quick. So there it is, plugging in. Sorry, this is a little messy. I don't have anyone here to do this. And then I'm going to plug the other cable that's going to the undamped into the main harness, which is the punches and the controls. So let me do that real quick. And then there it is. So now I have the controls going from the Versa City IO. They're still going. They're being connected right there, and they are still going to the wiring to the control panel. All this, and then now we got this one, which is terminating here, which is going to go to the end down. All this is simply doing is that there's two wires in each pinout for one, one's for up, one's for down, left, right, blah, 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 all the buttons. There's just two sets of wires in each pin, and it's being split. All this is being split. Yeah, as you can see here, that's all we're doing. We're just splitting the signal. Um, this doesn't mess with controls anyway. It doesn't add any lag. There's zero lag. Everything functions. We've been having this here for months. No one has complained. Uh, so let me show you how to do that really quick. So all we do is get this termination here. And then we plug it in. We're going to plug it in here. Sorry, guys. A little difficult to do. <laughs> so there we go. It is now plugged in. You don't even need to use the screw terminals. This makes it so much easier. You just got to make sure you plug it in the right way because this does require five volts of source, which is these red wires. You want to make sure it's in the right way. So it's a good idea to have proper colored wires to make it easier to tell. And then all you do is plug in. Oh, sorry guys, my uh, video cut off. Uh, but anyway, I was getting my point was is that uh, once you plug, you can plug it. Once you're done with plugging everything in, you simply just plug in the USB, and then you run it basically to your Nutric adapter. Uh, if you want to know what these are, these are Nutric adapters. You can buy them on Focus Attack, uh, all, all of our hot gaming shops. You know, uh, Paradise, all of them, uh, and even Amazon. I can put a link in the in the description. Uh, if you don't want to do this, if you don't want to modify your cabinet in any way, I know some people just don't want to put any modifications, they want stock, I get it. Um, you can just simply get a uh, USB extension cable and just, preferably if you can get a flatter, flat style cable, you can just run it through one of the crevices of the, the cabinet and just have it like tape, like right here on the side for people to do it. So that way you could easily uh, put it back to stock. Because all you gotta do is unplug this stuff, put the original cables back in, get back to stock. It, it, there's no permanent mods, no nothing. Uh, it's very simple. Um, I see some people run the cables out, you know, they'll put it down through the holes down here and have it slightly coming out, you know, the, 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 cat, the door down here or run it through the speaker somehow or somewhere on the side other versus city or even even easier the blast cities are easier to deal with um, but there's so many ways you can you can enable USB uh, a USB port for your cabinets without tampering with the cabinet in almost any way it's very simple uh, we've had no issues here everyone loves it um, it's given us a couple more players uh, which is always good you know we want to grow the scene you know I'm all about running these legacy games, and uh, I want to grow the scene. So, this is a good way to do it. Anyway, uh, thanks. Take care.